gather around the campfire everybody because in today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to make fl look a thousand times better and not only that i'm also going to show you guys how to set up fl so that way it works better for your creativity so you're not overwhelmed and i'm gonna give you guys 20 free fl studio themes and they all look crazy 100 percent free i'm doing it for the love of the game i'm gonna break this down into two different parts functional and visual functional is obviously going to be the stuff that's going to help you not feel overwhelmed as well as help your creative flow a lot faster and visual obviously it's going to be making your shit look cool as well as giving you guys some resources and the free kit so just like when you finally get some let's dive right in it so the first thing i'm going to show you guys how to do is organize your vsts and create a go-to kit tab if you guys don't know what i'm talking about it looks like this look at the organization of vsts and look at the organization of sounds. There's nothing that overwhelms you over here. So I'm gonna attack the easiest one, which is creating your own go-to drum kit folder. Usually when we have our drum kits, we rarely take the time out to organize the stuff. Now look how many folders are here. It's just a whole bunch of shit in here. So the easiest way to create your own go-to folder is to right click the folders that you like and then create new tab. I'm always gonna separate everything by color because it's a lot easier to identify. Now that we got that out the way, we can go to the real shit, which is organizing the VSTs. Okay, I didn't want to forget this, but shout out to Base One because one of his old YouTube videos just started randomly playing. And I saw it, I'm like, oh shit, that's how you do it. So shout out to my guy Base One because I learned it from him. I'll link his channel down below so that way you can check him out. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to add and then click tree. It's gonna make it look like this, but all your VSTs are gonna be out. We haven't set it up yet. Once you do that, go to the plugin tab in the browser and click plugin database and then click generator effects it's effects generators is instruments vsc samplers all that type of stuff right click it and hit open and create a folder example vsc's go to boom now let's refresh the reason why i put that symbol in front is because i want that to be at the top of the list now that i have it a different color just to identify it i'm gonna put the vsts that i want in there these vsts addictive drums b1 i'm gonna put all those in here next right click the name of the folder and open the browser and do the same thing for the generators folder don't worry it's the same process for windows next go to your generator folder and select the vsts that you want and then drag them into the folder that we just created now all the vsts are in there this is what it looks like hella simple but here's an extra little bonus thing for you so if you're like me you already know as soon as you see something visually you already know what it can do you already know what you can get out of it but if you see the name you don't remember it as much because we have so much stuff well, here's how to create a thumbnail so i'm gonna take one of 40's favorite vsts hybrid which is very slept on by the way now that it's pulled up what you're gonna want to do is make sure that folder is open. Don't have any other folders like these because they'll also go into there. Make sure that one folder is open. Next, go up here to the drop down menu and click add plugin to database. And now once you do that, hit refresh and that's what it looks like. So if you do that for all your VSTs, it'll just be a lot easier for you to identify. These are my synth VSTs because I got them in the synth folder and this is what they look like. Now you don't have to spend like all day doing this shit. Grab the ones that you like, create the thumbnail. It only take like two seconds, but this shit hella easy as you can see. I'm telling you, once you do this, it makes everything a lot easier. I have some sample VSTs. These are VSTs that I use for like samples and stuff, right? And then I have like in the effects, I have like all the stock VSTs as well as sound toy VSTs. I'm not gonna remember every VST that sound toys has. I'm able to identify these things a lot easier and I'm not going around like guessing which VST is from sound toys. So that's how you organize your VSTs without feeling overwhelmed. I'm gonna open up a project file to show you this next one. It's actually a beat that I'm gonna break down in a different video. It's like some weekend type of shit, but it's just hard though. <laughs> I'll say that for like the video video. So the next functional option is showing all the patterns at once. It sounds overwhelming, but it's a lot easier. Go up here to this drop down menu and hit pick your panel and then hit show empty patterns. And this is gonna show you all the empty patterns. It's just a lot easier to just drag and drop something. I just find that it's just a little easier for me personally. So if it works for you, cool. If it doesn't, hey, your process is your process. <laughs> now this last functional thing I'm gonna show you has to do with the browser and it's gonna break you out of that monotonous file reading shit. And that is how to make your browser look like this. 
Now, when I look at this, I clearly see what's what. I clearly see that this is a perk loop. These are 808s. This is a one-shot base. Claps, hi-hats, kicks. I can clearly identify what everything looks like. Again, I'm a visual person. It's a lot easier for me to identify it as opposed to just like, I'm just looking at file names. It's still sometimes nice to break out of that monotonous creating a type of feel where you're just looking at file names and just playing the guessing game. This just looks a lot visually appealing. The way that you do that is you go up here to your folder, you right click it, then you go all the way down to view layout and you can either select column or samples. If you select column, this is what it looks like. Personally, I like looking at the samples because it's visual all the way and it looks a lot cleaner. Obviously, it's not going to look like this. You could just pull the browser. I just did that because it's a lot better to show you guys. Now that we're done with functional, which I know is going to help you guys a ton, probably asking yourself, where did you get that theme? That shit look raw as hell. I know, I know. Now we can move on to the visual. Actually, quick thing, before we move on to the visual, I gotta take a quick break and let you guys know that I'm dropping a crazy kit this month called Diplomatic Community Volume 1. If you know me, you already know like high quality kits. You know I'm not gonna give you guys some bullshit. This kit that I'm dropping has a ton of hard hitting sounds that's modeled after the MPC 2000 XL and the ASR 10. Some of these sounds have been brand through those machines as well. I asked for a couple favors and you know, they came through for me. This kit is inspired by like that 2000s Rockefeller era sampling and it's a mix with the modern sound. So if you love using crazy soul samples but you need some hard hitting drums that are unique and give bounce, this is the kit for you. Or if you want something that has punchy drums from songs that you'll hear from Kendrick Lamar, Drake, Travis Scott, or even from producers like Boy Wonder, OZ, Wonder Girl, this kit is for you. I'm dropping it this month, so I can't wait to share with you guys because I got a ton of videos that's ready and I'm ready to flood you guys across all platforms. Now, early in this video, I told you guys that I do this shit for the love of the game, which is why I'm giving you guys a free kit with 20 themes. Now, this isn't like some, I downloaded it from somewhere and I just, gave you guys some shit that you can find online. These have been carefully created, so that way when you're using your computer in the brightest setting, it looks great. Or if you're using it in the darkest setting to save energy on your computer, it also looks good. All of these in here are based off of something. This is Purple Rain Future. This is great. I'm not gonna lie to you. I might stick with this one for right now. Now, let me show you guys how to install it. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to that first tab and then go all the way down and go to user data and open. Next, click FL Studio and then click settings and click themes. It's important that you drop the folder in there because if you don't drop the folder, you're not gonna get the thumbnails. If you guys wanna know how to do that, you can definitely use Adobe Color or you could use this app called Color Slurp. It's a little suspect though, like listen to this. It's a little suspect. I don't know if I fuck with that. Free, simple, easy to use. Just plug this in to the place where you put the colors in and you're good. I highly doubt you're gonna have to do that because I have pretty much every color theme that you can adjust and kind of use as a starting base with. Now here's some extra credit just because. I'm gonna show you guys how to create the thumbnails for your themes. So that way it looks like this and you know what you're clicking. Take a screenshot and then create a folder. Let's just say video is example one you're gonna take that screenshot throw it in here now you're gonna save the theme and let's just say i don't know let's just say example one throw it into the folder that we just created with the screenshot now here's what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to copy this name and then go to the screenshot and rename and hit paste you're gonna want to delete theme and put png it's not gonna work if it doesn't have the exact same name you just have to make sure it says png at the end go to that screenshot hit rename and in front of it hit t h m and that's it once i open it up it's right there and that's exactly how you create a theme thumbnail. So I hope I didn't confuse you too much. That's how you make your FL work a lot smoother for your creativity as well as look a lot better. If you guys want these themes, click the link down below. You'll be able to download them 100% free. All I could do is give you the game and give you some love and hope I receive it back. With that being said, Diplomatic Community Volume 1 drops soon. And yeah, more videos on the way. I will catch you guys next time.